What's going on guys? This is Greg Farley from The Wise Guys, aka Pegasus. A uh, little bit of a somber week, uh, weekend, I guess. Um, there's a chill Sundays where we talk about anything, but this one's a little bit somber. Uh, lost a very, very, very old friend of mine. It's been a long year, man. It's been a very long year. But I uh, lost uh, probably my very, very, very first best friend when I was a little boy. I'm talking like kindergarten days all the way up through high school. Uh, he ended up committing suicide. And uh, it made me reflect a lot because <clears throat> while we always choke about everything or overlook mental health issues, we have to also, we, we, we have to take them seriously. You know, as cliche as that sounds, as whatever as that sounds, um, we still have to pay attention to these things because a lot of times there's warning signs that are there. Um, me and him haven't been tight really like that since since probably the end of high school, but he was still my friend, you know, and I had uh, recently talked to him like back in February and uh, he's got two little girls. So I'm thinking everything is good. You just don't know, man. I'm just, just placing it out there, you know. You never know when you do a video like this if it can touch someone in a certain way and it may be one person one situation one viewer while they're watching youtube on a Yu-Gi-Oh channel you know you just don't know like i said we talk about anything on chill sundays and i wanted to talk about this because i feel like it's extremely important i think uh we don't really take action when someone feels that way like suicidal or whatever we always it's like we don't know how to we don't know how to be beneficial to someone that says something in a suicidal manner, you know. And I feel like we've all experienced it, to be honest. Um, it's a really, really deep topic, so I want to make sure I don't, like, misspeak or mis mistalk or misrepresent myself. But I feel like we have to be the safe person, you know. If that's not you, if you're not, like, a safe person to talk to or you feel like you slip up talking to someone who's going through something like that, then try to point them in that direction. I know that, you know, you don't want to say, hey, man, I don't, you know, you don't want to be seem like a hard ass, but you also don't want to, you know, stab, needle somebody the wrong way, you know. Not to say that you might be the setting reason, but, you know, you just want to make sure that you can validate and encourage someone to talk openly, you know, um, and this is a mature conversation, so, you know, this is a Yu-Gi-Oh! channel, but I'm just trying to help someone. This may come across, because I really didn't see this coming from my friend, and it, it shocked the hell out of me. So I'd rather try to give some kind of energy out there. But I feel validate and encourage. You know, encourage someone, man, if you feel like they, they, they don't know. If you feel like you can't understand where they're coming from or what would make them feel like that that's when you should be asking a question or trying to direct them to someone to ask them that question if you feel like you're not the right person. You know, it's kind of a touchy subject. I feel like um, uh, the right, you have to have the right people, of course, as I already said that, you know. And like I said, I'm, I'm not the best speaker on touchy subjects like that like I said I've, I've been a social worker in my past in my professional life I was a social worker kind of took a, a break from that because it was a very stressful line of work but I wasn't the best speaker to say the right thing in the right moment on that note but I could always defer to someone or I worked with someone you know in my field or whatever that they were able to, to convey the message the right way. I feel like I'm a pretty good speaker. I feel like I, you know, I know how to entertain a, a group of people, entertain a room, but when it's something touchy, I get nervous and I don't want to slip up, you know. As well, we, we have to also be honest with ourselves. Um, I've never felt suicidal myself, but I have had, you know, this is one of those years for me where I'm like, damn, you know, a uh, buddy of mine on my team has a health ailment, you know, um, lost my aunt to cancer, you know, friend just, com you know, committed suicide. It's like boom, 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 boom. Thank God that I have the right, you know, if you're not a 
religious person, you know, thank goodness, thank karma, thank, thank nature, thank mother nature, thank whatever, thank God for me that I have coping, coping skills, you know, being able to say, ah, it's not going to be that bad, man. It's all gravy, you know, brush it off your shoulders. A lot of people don't have that though. And a lot of people either they snap or they don't feel like they have anybody to talk to and then they just shut down or they uh, a buddy of mine used to say that in college he said it's like you, you feed the wolf you know like that negative talk like even you know let's relate relating it to Yu-Gi-Oh or something you've had like you lost a game this is how irrelevant Yu-Gi-Oh is when you really think about it but you lost a game or you lost a match and then it's time for the next round and you're still in your head about that last match. It's the same way with something negative, you know, that's impacting your life where if you keep dwelling on it, then it's just going to feed back and hit you again and it feed back and hit you again and it feed back and hit you again. And that's what depression is, you know, so that's kind of a wild analogy, but it's, it's pretty much the same wavelength. So I say all that to <clears throat> not to ramble, but to explain how, those negative thoughts can build up on you. So even if you feel like it's you that feels like that, you still got to do something. Um, so again, I, I would use those same tips if you feel like, you know, the the person you would want to tell would, would crack a joke or something or would say the wrong thing and you're kind of serious, then you need to talk to someone. Not not online, don't go typing and, and asking Facebook and all this, because those aren't the right people. It's not, social media isn't the right place. It really isn't. It's not designed for that. You know, it's just, that's the world we live in. But I think, um, trying to gather my thoughts while I'm talking, whatever it is, I feel like you shouldn't keep it a secret. So, you know, I didn't. I had no idea about this one, so this one shocked me with my friend. But let's say someone, maybe he told someone. I'm not accusing anybody. I'm just saying, from my perspective, maybe he told someone, and they didn't take it quite as serious, or just didn't think that he meant it like that, or maybe it struck them the wrong way, but they just let it pass by them. You know, you don't want to. You don't want to keep things a secret like that, you know, especially if somebody, you know, if they start giving away their possessions and stuff like that and you know that something means a lot to them, you know, you kind of have to look for small things but also listen. And I think a lot of times in modern society, we don't really listen to anybody anymore. None of us are really listening. We're all kind of polarized on two opposite ends of the spectrum, not to get so philosophical, but, you know, or political, but we're just not listening to each other. So, of course, people feel like there's nowhere to dump anything, you know. Some people feel like the only person they can talk to is a psychiatrist, which is sad because you feel like you should have someone around you that you can talk to, you know what I mean? So, I'm sorry if I'm rambling. Just really wanted to say, seek support if you really feel like that person needs it, if you need it. Um, sorry, I don't know the suicide prevention tip line. I'll try to leave it down in the description below. But it's just what I wanted to talk about, you know, and like I said, this is a Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. Not trying to come at you all somber-like, but I feel like sometimes you need to hear these things. And I feel like if this hits one person, then I did what I was supposed to do. It's Greg Farley from The Wise Guys. Check out those videos, man. You know, appreciate you guys tuning in. And as always, YG Baby.